following breaking news at 9, a tragic outcome, a firefighter killed while battling a house fire in Worcester with three others hurt. Big day on Capitol Hill. Law lawmakers are set to hold the first public hearings in the impeachment inquiry as we take a live look inside of the chambers. And the heart and soul of the Celtics, Marcus Smart hosting an event to raise money for a cause close to his heart. This is 7 News Today in New England. Good morning, everybody. Boston and New England, everybody feeling the deep freeze on this Wednesday morning. Temperatures plunging overnight in some areas, dipping into the teens, even colder than that when you factor in the wind chill. Some of those single digits popping up for the very first time in a long time. Live look outside, and there's a sight for sore eyes. A little bit of sunshine hopefully can warm things up at least a tad bit on what's our first frigid time of this part of the year. Thanks for spending your time here with us on this Wednesday morning. I'm Chris Anderson. And I'm Amaka Ubaka. It's crazy to think in November we're already breaking records. Yeah. It's, it's a tough one it's out there, Chris. Test run for us. Test run for when the real right. winter getting, comes. Getting ready for January, right? We like to say that here. January 13th feels more like that this morning than November 13th. Check out some of the records that fell. Didn't break it in Boston, but you did in Worcester, Lawrence, up into Manchester, New Hampshire, all in the teens this morning. We're following some breaking news this morning. Heartbreaking news, a Worcester firefighter losing his life while trying to save others this morning. And a short time ago, we heard from fire officials detailing this tragic situation. Carrie Carrado is live at Worcester Fire Headquarters with more on what we know. Carrie. Chris, good morning. We're told the lieutenant who was killed chose to save others. And our Team 7 coverage himself. continues with 7's Brandon Gano, who's live at the scene with the very latest. Brandon. And Amaka, the Worcester County District Attorney Joe Early was just here actually a few minutes ago walking around and talking to some of the investigators. Absolutely heartbreaking as the procession for Lieutenant Menard is expected to arrive at the medical examiner's office in Boston around 10 o'clock this morning. And this latest fire reminding the city of Worcester and, and all of us, for that fact, similar tragedies that they have dealt with over the past few decades. Firefighters risking their lives and losing their lives, trying to save others. And for more on that, we want to bring in 7th John Coco, who joins us now. And, and the Worcester Fire Department has, has unfortunately, John, dealt with heartache in the past. Yeah, Chris, sadly, Worcester has been here before losing one of their brave firefighters. As we take a live look out now in Worcester, where you see the flag is flying at half staff for this hero who tragically lost his life there this morning, fighting to save others, members of his crew, members of his firehouse, as they continued to battle that multi-floor uh, fire in that structure there, that home in Worcester. Ladder 5, he's a nine-year veteran of the Worcester Fire Department. So another big story that we're watching, and it involves the first of the public impeachment hearings, set to begin in less than an hour from right now. And over the next few weeks, witnesses' testimony and lawmakers' questions and even Capitol Hill attorneys will now be out in the open. And what comes of this could set up the next phase of this inquiry. Now, Seven's Dan Housley has more from Washington, D.C., ahead of the hearings. Well, we'll soon get an idea whether this is going to be a pivotal moment for the Trump presidency or whether it's going to be another one of those Capitol Hill fizzles. Less than an hour away from when those hearings are set to begin, and you can catch them live right here on 7 News. Our full team coverage begins starting at 10 o'clock, so keep it locked right here on the news station. 9-11 is your time on this Wednesday. Ahead here on the news station, bowling to battle cancer. The C's, Marcus Smart, bringing along some teammates and friends for an important cause that's personal for him. Record cold air settling in across southern New England this morning, but at least we have all that sunshine. How long the cold weather lasts ahead of the forecast? It's still a long commute if you plan on taking the expressway. Plus, I'm tracking some unusual delays. I'll tell you where they are coming up. And breaking news, heartbreaking news out of Worcester where a firefighter, a hero, was killed in the line of duty trying to save others. Lieutenant Jason Menard died. Three other firefighters were injured and they are still in the hospital this morning. And what we're looking at right here is the procession from Worcester to Boston carrying Lieutenant Jason Menard, bringing him to the Boston Medical Examiner's Office. This procession taking place and we, we've seen firefighters saluting along the way and people paying their respects to this hero who lost his life, tried to save people who were inside of that burning structure and then taking the extra steps to make sure that his team members made it out of that burning home in time, which they did 
thanks to Lieutenant Menard. Marcus Smart trading in his basketball kicks to take part in a bowling bash for a wonderful cause that's very near and dear to his heart. So Smart promised his mom when he was younger that if he ever made it to the NBA, he would start a foundation to help kids with cancer. And Smart is keeping that promise a year after her death. Seven's Madeline Hunt My message is, more. just keep going. You know, never, ever lose faith. Proceeds from this event go towards funding smart carts, which are carts filled with electronic devices that are taken to hospitals for kids to play with and to stay in touch with their family during treatment and recovery. Live in the newsroom, Madeline Hunt, 7 News. And we want to get things started with breaking news now. A Worcester firefighter losing his life tragically this morning while being a hero and saving other lives. Lieutenant Jason Menard was trapped inside of a burning home after helping to get some of his crew members out safely. And a short time ago, fire officials detailed the situation leading up to this absolutely heartbreaking situation. And you're taking a live look here of his body being transported from Worcester to the Boston Medical Examiner's Office. Three others were also hurt in that fire this morning. Seven's Kerry Carrada was live at Worcester Fire Headquarters with the breaking details. Such a tragedy here, Kerry. It sure is, Amaka and Chris. We're told a firefighter who was killed chose to save others before himself. The fire chief says Menard and other firefighters went inside the burning home on Stockholm Street after there were reports of people trapped. The chief says the fire conditions were so bad that Menard put himself in danger to save his crew. A bitter blast taking a hold on New England. We've been talking about it all morning long. Observers on Mount Washington reporting that temperatures have gotten down to negative 17 degrees Oof. with wind speeds of 74 miles per hour, and that's without the wind chill. So just put that in there, and it is very bitterly cold. A whole other world up there. Yes, yeah. I think is. I've seen like rating <laughs> rankings some places that say Mount Ooh. Washington has the most intense weather on the planet at yeah. some time. I some believe it. Winds. Yeah, some of the records up there are going to eclipse 200 miles an hour. We're following breaking news. A Worcester firefighter killed while battling a house fire early this morning. This is a live look from the office of the chief medical examiner in Boston as they await his body. Fellow firefighter showing their respect for Fire Lieutenant Jason Menard as the procession continues to make its way from Worcester this morning. We saw police officers there as well, just one big uh, family of first responders and heroes. And this hero lost his life while trying to save others and get his team out. During that four alarm fire in Worcester this morning, three other firefighters were injured in this fire, one of them in serious condition. We're going to have more coming up throughout the morning right here on the news station. 9.52 and we're tracking some breaking news this morning and what you're looking at here is the scene outside of the Boston Medical Examiner's Office. Firefighters, police officers lining the streets to pay salute to one of their own, a hero who died this morning in the line of duty, Lieutenant Jason Menard. He was inside of that Worcester home fire this morning and you're looking at the procession on the left side of your screen bringing uh, Lieutenant Menard's body to Boston to the Medical Examiner's Office. He was inside of that fire with his team from Ladder five when they were overcome by the flames and his efforts, his heroics, Amaka helped get his team out of that burning home and unfortunately he didn't make it out. Yeah, heroic and selfless efforts, a very difficult day for the Worcester Fire Department. He helped one firefighter get to the stairs on the second or third floor of that house and went back and helped another firefighter escape through the window, tragically losing his life. He leaves behind a wife and three children. As we stay on these live pictures, you see this procession of police officers and firefighters all lined up as his body gets closer uh, to the medical examiner's office this morning. He was doing what he loved, uh, as you see them um, saluting his body as it, as it is um, being brought to Boston from Worcester. Um, they're, they're trained for this, and um, this is what they do. They go into burning homes. They go into dangerous situations trying to save lives, and they had reports that there was someone trapped inside. They had reports that there was a baby inside. So he and his team did what they're trained to do and what they dedicate their lives to do and went inside of that burning home here this morning um, and unfortunately lost their lives, but in the act of saving others. So when we use the term hero a lot, uh, maybe sometimes it is, doesn't warrant that, but in this case, 
absolutely Lieutenant Jason Menard died as a hero this morning. And the city manager speaking this morning saying that really this tragedy is almost more than the city can bear. They've had their share of tragedies yeah. of the past several years with Christopher Roy's death less than a year ago. Uh, we are wrapping their arms around this community and they were asking that the public wrap their arms around uh, Lieutenant Menard's family in this time of need. Obviously his wife and three kids they were supposed to be heading to Disney today yeah. to celebrate and instead now we have his body here being sent here to Boston. And, and you know you're planning a trip you're planning a family vacation but what duty calls and even though he's planning his family trip and they're making these plans to go to Disney when uh, his, his, his brothers from the Ladder 5 department needed his help, he rushed out to the scene there this morning. It was a four alarm fire. So this was a big fire. We've seen video from that home and it's a three story structure, uh, multiple units there and you saw it was fully involved and they needed all the help they can get. And he was there. He was battling. They weren't outside. They had reports that there were people inside and, and they did what they're trained to do. He was a nine year veteran of the fire department. We heard from some of the people who knew him, some of the other firefighters and um, city representatives who talked about how much this meant to him and how much he loved being a firefighter. And, you know, if you take any solace into this tragedy, he died doing what he loved and he died saving others, which is what he was trained to do and what he wanted to, to do. Some heartbreaking developments here, and we're going to continue to stay on top of this breaking news story for you all day. We're also just minutes away from the first public impeachment hearings to get underway in Washington, D.C. This is a live look inside here in the House, and you can see uh, that officials are getting ready for these impeachment hearings to begin. We are expected to hear from two top diplomats, William B. Taylor, a top American diplomat in Ukraine, as well as George Kent, a senior State Department official in charge of Ukraine policy and really the big question here is this phone call yep. from over the summer between President Trump and the Ukrainian president a lot of people saying that there could be a pro Prid quo pro here. Yeah. Democrats really have the burden of proof here. Republicans will try to poke holes in the Democrats' argument and defend President Trump. We want to bring in Seven's Dan Housley, who's live for us in Washington, D.C. And Dan, kind of give us a preview of what we can uh, expect here in the next couple of minutes. Well, we're going to have opening statements uh, from uh, the chairman, Adam Schiff, and also from his counterpart, uh, Devin Nunez, the ranking Republican as well.